I've been waiting for this my whole entire life. Come on. I said I did it for the. Yo, what's up? This is Nichols Nichols Mindset. Coming at you this video I'm about uh, hit training. You know why you should be doing high in high intensity interval training while you're doing uh, intermittent fasting. Because most people like me before before I found out about hit training, I would I to do more 50 minute jogs. You know, long one hour jogs at a you know because my heart rate is not up so high, so I'm, it takes me an hour and a half run to burn as much calories as I do in intermittent fasting. I mean, uh, hit training. With hit training, I can just now. I went for 40 minutes and I was able to burn roughly about 700 calories. All right, and that's in a 40 minute span. So you also could do a hit training in about 20 minutes and you still burn the same amount of calories or uh, less or more. But the whole objective is after you, before you uh, break your fast during intermittent training, you want to be able to uh, do a workout before you break your fast. And doing high intensity training would definitely will help you to burn more calories. All right, so one thing you got to do is to stay focused. You know, you want you want to push your body to the limit. You don't want to be dead tired after uh, that workout. You can see now I'm still sweating, and there's a whole puddle of sweat down there below. My shirt is drenched. You know, so just get it in, and it's really good for people that's also um, you know working a nine to five. So if you can get that quick workout in before you go to work, about eight o'clock in the morning. Or at lunchtime, or right after work, and you know, you can spend maybe 30 minutes max, to get you that quick calorie burst and burn some calories, and definitely help you on your goals to you know weight loss or getting fit. All right. So me personally, on another note, you know, still struggling with the intermittent fasting. Like you know, sometimes I have my up days, off days. That's gonna be expected. All you gotta do is try to stay focused, and that's for you know for myself and for you guys out there. If you could just stick to the plan. You know, don't even try to look 30 days out. Try to look for uh, doing it maybe weeks at a time. Break it down into four quarters. All right, four quarters just like in uh, a basketball game. You know, the first quarter. You know, you try to set your goals, things like that. All right. So, um, one. All right. Just in case this is your first time also watching this video, let me just break down real fast what intermittent training is. Intermittent fasting. Pretty much, you want to just be able to cut your calories within a eight. A eight hour or a six hour period so what you're doing is you're waking up in the morning and you're skipping breakfast at 12 about 12 or 1 you have your first meal which is a small 500 calorie meal and from there your next meal will be about uh, 7 o'clock all right and during this time you'll just drink water and or uh, coffee with no sugar no creamer all right because you don't want to put no calories in your system a good thing that I found out is just having sparkling water and you uh, drinking sparkling water all right, it's carbonated. It helps fill up the stomach. All right, so when you wake up, don't hit, have no breakfast. You want to have your body empty, and then right before you're about to break that fast, go ahead and get in some hit training. Try to burn as many calories as you can, and then go into your meal. All right, so normally you want to shut down your uh, your feeding window about eight o'clock. So that means from eight to about twelve, which is give or take 14, 16 hours, you'll be uh, fasting and burning a lot of calories. I mean, uh, uh, you know, containing their calorie intake. All right, so just stick with it, you know. If you haven't watched some of my other videos, watch some of my other videos. I mean, this thing is a work in progress. You know, I got down to, honestly, I got down to about 202, and now I'm fluctuating back up to about 212, 213, you know, because that kind of took some time off. So just stay motivated. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. You know, like, share comment and uh, give me your intake and how, how the intermittent fasting is going for you and what are your thoughts and, you know what share some of you I'd like to hear some of your um, your results in the uh, comments below if this is working for you you know because I just found out this about about a year ago I mean it's a good it's a good um, routine to get into so like you, you know you felt like you over eight or whatnot just go ahead and intermittent fast the next day and you know you'll lose a two or three pounds you know what I'm saying all right so next time stay motivated stay connected and uh, keep on losing that weight